Shine Post. Okay, so we're at Shine 2011, and yes. I'm with Nick Jankel, who's just been doing a session on storytelling. Yes. Uh, which is exactly what uh, we social reporters are trying to do with the Big Lottery, helping people to tell their stories. So, Nick, um, I was very struck by something you said, which is that people are not necessarily going to be engaged by your own brilliance or the brilliance of your model, but you have to tell a story about it. Can you elaborate a bit on that for me? Yes. Um, people tend to think because they've cracked something um, or they've had a personal experience, therefore by nature of it being amazing to us, uh, everyone else is going to find it amazing. Um, the more innovative you think it is, the more you think that's going to be the case because people are going to be like, oh my god, you're such a genius for having this idea, it's brilliant. And unfortunately most people don't have the attention uh, or the headspace or just the interest in the, in the subject that you're talking about to be blown away by the idea. They need to be taken on a little bit of a journey to show them the journey you went on in your thinking. So it needs to have a kind of um, a kind of arc. They call it a character arc in, in Hollywood. So you've got to tell people a character arc. And I think we're really used to um, we're used to being seeing stories in a certain way. Um, and I think our mind just needs to have um, you know a, um, a context for what we're talking about, um, a little bit of personal insight, and then your brilliance. And then people go, oh, right, yeah, that's quite brilliant, actually. Yeah, um, and you sort of led my into my next question. You, you were talking about stories being based on Hollywood scripts, being based on the, on the hero's story. Mm -hmm. So how does that go? So the hero's journey is um, an analysis, essentially, of, of many, many, many myths and stories where you can start to see a, a certain framework. And the framework, essentially, is kind of simple. It's basically, you start in the world with your problem. It's a social problem, whatever, it's a personal problem. And then you start to realize it's getting worse and you, so you go on a journey, a discovery, you go into an adventure, you meet some enemies and meet some um, wizards who are gonna help you. Then you have the, the big insight, the big breakthrough. And then you get, you get something, you get a gift at that moment. You bring that gift back into the world. That's the hero's journey. Uh, Star Wars was based on it. M pretty much every movie is now based upon it. But in innovation, it's slightly different, but it's the same underlying arc of um, uh, problem, um, difficult things to deal with, either monsters, demons, um, killing the monsters, getting the idea, and then in putting it into the world uh, by bringing the Holy Grail or the, the boon, as it's called, back with you. Okay. And... And you finished your presentation by outlining the, uh, the seven elements of, of storytelling. Oh, Can you tell me a little bit about those, just <laughs> quickly? Uh, right. So the impact story is, a story, is, is uh, underlined by the hero's journey, but I've developed it a little bit for social change, social innovation, impact. And it starts with a connection. You've got to get a connection with your listener, uh, with your audience. You can tell them something about yourself, it's personal, it makes them go, wow, that's, this is amazing. Intimacy, or an amazing fact about the problem, or whatever it was going on, um, or a personal story about one person in pain and suffering, or whatever. Then you go on to the context. What's been thought of before, what's been talked about, who was tried, who's tried and who's failed to do this thing. Then you look at the conventions. What are the conventions of the space? What, what does everyone think, or what did everyone think until you had your big idea? Then you have the consciousness shift, um, the big idea, the aha moment, the leap, uh, which is based upon Einstein saying problems can't be solved at the same level of consciousness that created them. Then you tell people about what the concept is, what's it going to do, when, how much, how, whatever. Then you go on and tell people about what you're committed to do with that concept. And then ultimately you tell them what we call concrete impact. How many people, who, what kind of money, whatever it is, the thing that you're going to actually do in the world. And what I didn't talk about actually in there is the, the, the actual eighth stage is, is a call to action. Because at the end of it you actually want to then go, and what we need from you is X, or what I want from you is Y. Even if it's just saying, and now go and look at this video online. Okay, that's great. Well, Thank you very much.